Patent Validation in Europe. I am Rolf Klesen, Patent Attorney and Partner with Freisham and Partner and I am publishing a new video about patents, trademarks and designs every Thursday. And in this video I explain how to validate patents in Europe. And I also explain why you don't get a granted patent after grant of a European patent in each member state of the European Patent Convention automatically. You have gone through the process of having a patent granted with the European Patent Office. Now what? What are the steps to get a patent validated in Europe? Do you need to file a translation? Do you need to appoint a representative? What are the costs of validation? Patent protection in Europe is currently governed by national patent offices. And to, get a granted and to get a granted European patent converted into national patents, several steps need to be taken and this is called patent validation. Granted European patents can not only be validated in the member states of the European Patent Convention but also in countries like Morocco, the Republic of Moldova, Tunisia or Cambodia. Also protection can be extended to countries like Montenegro or Bosnia and Herzegovina. And of course the European Patent Office is in dialogue with many more countries to join this system. So here are the most important steps to validate a patent in Europe. First of all you typically need to appoint a national representative within three months from the publication of the grant. So you need to appoint a patent attorney or lawyer in this particular country where you want protection. Some countries have waived this requirement in such a way that you can appoint any European patent attorney licensed to practice before the European Patent Office. At that time, typically you will have to file a full translation of the description and the claims in the respective national language with that particular national patent office. Some countries have waived this requirement completely, so no translation is necessary in, for example, France, Great Britain or Germany. Other countries have waived this requirement partially in such a way that, for example, in the Netherlands, in Sweden or in Denmark, you need to file a translation of the full specification into the national language where the specification is not in English, so if it has been drafted in uh, French or in German, you need to translate it into either um, the national language or into English. And only the claims need to be translated into the national language. So what is the cost for validation? The largest block of costs is typically the translation. So wherever you need to file a translation, that will be the major costs for validation. And that, of course, depends on the number of words and the language. Some languages are more expensive, like Finnish, and some are less expensive, like Spanish. Then you typically need to pay a representative to appoint themselves for, as a representative for your national patent. And that typically costs around, let's say, 200 to 500 euros, depending on the law firm that you use. And of course, annual renewal fees need to be paid to the National Patent Office. I hope I was able to explain what patent validation in Europe is. If you are new to my channel and want to learn more about patents, trademarks and designs, please subscribe to my channel. I am answering questions and comments below this video and most importantly, protect your intellectual property and go make it count.